So on day four in the junior guide and the primary guide teacher guide, there's a, let's start that again. I just need to say junior and primary teacher guide. Okay. So day four in the junior and primary teacher guide, there's an illustration that I'm going to show you how to do. We're talking about what Jesus is doing now, and the kids are going through stations. So station two is about Jesus interceding for us. And we kind of build it into this little analogy of the Romans and what great bridge builders they were and how some of those bridges are still standing and how nowadays Jesus is still acting as sort of that bridge between us and God where he's interceding or standing in the gap for us. And so they're going to test some bridges to see which is the strongest. So the supplies you need, you need three cups. They can be this kind, they can be, it doesn't really matter, but just whatever kind of cups that are styrofoam or plastic. You need some of these little floral gems or you could also just use rocks if you want to and you need a few pieces of cardstock okay you're going to be bending one to make into an arch and you're going to need one long enough so the first test they're going to do and you can do this with one group and just have one set of supplies or if you want the kids in little groupings to do these themselves you could have multiples so they have you know sets of the, all of these things so the first thing you're going to do is gather these two cups and you're going to put this cardstock piece on it as if it's the bridge, okay? And these are the supports of the bridge. And then the kids are going to be putting these uh, floral gems on it to see, see right away, there's no support, so it's going to fall off, okay? They're going to realize that's not a very good way to build a bridge. Okay, then you put another cup or you can also actually use blocks if you want to. It doesn't have to be cups. You could actually get a couple blocks on each and use it that way. All right, now you're going to have three instead of two, okay? And they're going to do the same thing. They're going to start putting these on and they're going to see, you know, how it goes. And they're going to realize, oh, look at this. This works a lot better this way. If you have this third one, it gives a whole lot more support and they kind of can keep going until they see if it falls off, okay? And then you can try a third way. This time you can take that support out. The Romans used a lot of arches. And I just folded this in half to kind of symbolize an arch. That's not exactly an arch, but, and then put this piece over top. And let's see how this one goes. So if we start putting pieces on and see how, how it works. Oh, that, that arch helps, but mm, let's see. It's still, still better than the first one. Boom, okay. And then they kind of determine which one was the strongest, okay. So obviously it's the second one. So it's just kind of a fun way to take the lesson and help them see that Jesus is like a bridge between us and God. And he is in heaven now interceding for us when we pray.